Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Guru Prasad Peruri, uh, DM Neonatologist, faculty of our uh, DM Pediatrics Needs Super Specialty of uh, ADR Plexus Pediatric Division. So, welcome you all. Like every year, this year also we are conducting interviews of toppers. So, the main uh, motto behind these videos is to sensitize all the upcoming aspirants about their preparation strategies, tips and tricks for the exams, and motivation, and all those things. Uh, now we have Dr. Apurva Gupta, who is basically from Indore, and who has just completed her MD two months back and cracked All India rank of 35 with a score of uh, with a score of 411. So uh, welcome, Dr. Apurva. Thank you, sir. So, what is your feeling right now? Uh, so initially, I was not able to digest because I, because the paper was very tough. So, I did not understand. I knew that the paper had gone well, but it was so tough. So, I could not understand what rank I'm going to get. So, I had to check it two times to actually understand that, yes, it is my rank. Okay, okay. Okay. Tell us briefly about yourself. Like, where did you do your MBBS, MD? I am basically from Indore, born, brought up. I've done everything from, uh, right from MBBS to MD uh, in Indore. Same as I did my MBBS and MD from MGM Medical College, Indore. So mostly, to my understanding, I think you are the bright student in MBBS, MD. You should have got so many years. Yes, yeah, so with God's grace also, because a lot of students work hard, but uh, like if I have got a rank, there's some other power that has probably helped me to excel a little extra. Okay, that's very nice of you. Like, uh, what was your preparation strategy? Like, what books you were reading? How many hours per day? How did you manage both MD as well as uh, this preparation? Uh, so, so uh, retrospectively, now if I want to put it in words, I think I can divide this preparation in three phases. So I think the first phase is when in your second year, when you start reading Nelson, when you start touching the book in, uh, and then you read about patient and then you open your books. So those two, second year and third year is very important that you should stick to Nelson and you read that book because a thorough understanding only comes when you uh, see the patient and read the book. If you blindly go on reading the cover to cover, you will never understand what is it. Then I had MD exam in between. So for that time, I had to take a little break from the SS preparation and then uh, Viva and everything went off. And straight after that, I started preparing for the NEET SS. So uh, the NEET SS, I had 50, 45 to 50 days time before the exam. I had divided that time into three phases, uh, 30 days, 15 days, and last three to five days a period. So in the first 30 days, I had completed one complete revision of whatever topics I thought are very, very important for NEET. In the next 15 days, I had narrowed it down to very, very important topics and those topics which I was very uh, not so good at. And in the last five days, I had kept a uh, very important volatile topics, number based things, uh, HLAs, genes, so that those volatile and development, that is how I had categorized because I had very little time to complete my course. So that was excellent. That is very excellent strategy. And many people will be asking like what books you were reading, how many hours per day you were reading like that. So I think in this 45 days, I had to put in 14, 15 hours because there was very little time to cover everything. And I would say Nelson is the book. So I think in second year, we because we are very fresh buds, we have just crossed first year, we have our juniors. So we think that this book is also good. We go on Bagga and then we go on a lot of other books, undermining the importance of Nelson. So I realized that your core book is Nelson, then you can build on other books. So Nelson is the most important thing. And then I have because I had participated, I would also, if people were watching, it is very, very important to take part in quizzes. So in second year, I had taken part in IEP quiz and we were the zonal runner-ups in the uh, central uh, region. And that helped me cover a lot of Nelson because and a lot of OSCEs, a lot of images. And I now realize that retrospectively that has helped me in uh, all this preparation. Okay, very good, very good. So uh, like... Uh, how did ADR Plexus help you? Like there are many other platforms. Like how did you like this platform? 
Uh, so, so I had joined Idea of Lectures mock test test series in my pre PG days. So I knew that there is a coaching which gives mock test. And then somewhere I was scrolling on Facebook or somewhere I got to know that there is a neat SS Rapido course for a neat SS. I instantly enrolled for the course. Uh, I would specifically want to tell how ADR has helped me in very like specific ways. The most important thing is that the most MCQs that I had done from the previous MCQ books they are based on pre PG pattern, which are very common one liner type of books but what the exam nowadays is asking they are stem questions they are three four line questions they will not ask you diagnosis they will ask you investigation they will ask you treatment and even the options are going to be so close so i remember when i started my adr te test series it was hardly i would correct 70 80 questions and uh, gradually when i started improving on them i could reach 90 to 100 questions in my last mocks and the best thing about adr i'm not marketing or it's not that i'm giving interview here that is why i'm saying all of this i am genuinely saying how it helped me so the best part about the adr series is that uh, it is made by people who have cracked that exam so once you have cracked that exam you know how the examiner thinks so i remember all of your videos where you would actually like those 10 uh, those 10 lines about a topic would be as if a complete summary of that topic and sir i would also like there is a there's an important thing that I learned that in medical profession, all of us are learners. Like we start by learning and memorizing. Everything we do is by memory. And the second stage of this is analysis. Like when once we are, we are done with the learning, we start analyzing. Okay, the question can come from here, it can come from here, and it can come from here. And the third stage is creativity, which very little people reach that you start framing that, oh, if I were an examiner, I will frame that question. So I think I tried to crack this journey and this I learned from your videos that you would say that if this is the topic, the examiner is going to think like this and you have to think how the examiner thinks. Like I would specifically want to mention like uh, I remember you had said there was an eight line or seven line question and you said that in this question there is just one keyword that is angiokeratoma and as soon as you say that the, you should think of Fabry's disease. Nothing else matters. So I learned that keyword, uh, you know, searching for keywords is very very important yeah yeah actually the main uh, way how we designed the course was also like that we did we wanted it to be different and it to be useful to the students not like uh, one-liners or like we were giving clinical scenarios like what i see in the opd what i treat baby so those questions are also included images are also were taken i think uh, that helped many other people also and what was your exam strategy? Like how many questions you attempted? Like uh, if you were difficult, uh, had difficulty in ruling two options or one options, did you attempt them? Like totally how many questions you attempted and what advice you will give? Uh, so I think the most important phase of preparation is the day of the exam and those two and a half hours. You might have prepared as much, but your strategy for those two and a half hours is very important. So I had made a strategy that in my first, I, I do question solving very fast. I have to actually control my speed in solving questions. So in one hour, 15 minutes, I had solved one time and I had put some 55 questions on review. In my second set, I uh, like all those 50, 55 questions, which I had really a lot of uh, uh, difficulty in solving I reviewed them and in last 20-25 minutes I was finally that narrowed down so I did 139 questions I was little aggressive with the questions and I think I got 110 correct so that I think one has to be a little aggressive while you are giving uh, the exam you cannot just uh, leave ki nahi aat, like you don't leave just because you don't know you have to try and you have to just keep uh, like uh, ruling out all the options yeah yeah that was uh, that was very nice suppose if i ask you like what advice you will give to uh, fellow md people who are uh, who wants to crack uh, dm entrance or someone who has completed md and practicing outside uh, or are doing a senior residency ship in some medical colleges so what advice you would like to give them uh, so especially for those people who are right now doing MD, who are in their second year or, or their third year, because suddenly there's a lot of marketing or coaching and everything, which is fine. But then they think that uh, doing uh, these notes, studying uh, this particular, uh, you know, shortcut, there is no shortcut to success in our field. So it is very important that you need to be very, very precise with your rounds. You need to be in your words. You need to have a comprehensive learning. If you think that just by reading a book and not seeing patients, you're going to crack an exam, you will not crack an exam and even if you crack it those three years of your residency it will never come back in your life so don't miss on those opportunities 
uh, at the cost of cracking cracking this exam and for those people who were who had given this exam who did not clear i think it is very important that you should always analyze where did you go wrong it is uh, for example if you are solving an mcq i have seen people solving that if they have done it correct uh, then they will not see why the other options are not correct so only when you practice lot of mcqs you put in lot of hours you have a very disciplined kind of uh, maybe it may be 4 hours a day not necessary to read 10 hours a day but that discipline of sitting and reading and analyzing the mixture of everything i think will uh, might lead to success so very very impressive about you <laughs> uh, then the final question what is your branch of interest and where do you want to take uh so i am interested in neurology uh, so uh, i'm hoping that i'll get it uh, this time okay wish you wish you all the best i hope you will get uh, your branch or specialty of interest uh, and uh, stay in touch and keep motivating all other students also thank you thank you very much